So it's uh, 6.30 in the evening, Monday evening. We just arrived at some kind of game reserve. Uh, and as we arrived, Axel, who monitors the wild dogs, got hold of us and just said, listen, we've got to get out immediately because the dogs are getting active. This is exactly what we're doing now. We just, we haven't even unpacked yet. We jumped on the back of this vehicle and off we go and see if we can find the dogs. It's quite exciting. <laughs> we're really, really close to them. We think they're actually coming towards us. So just, we're just trying to find them now. It's getting very close. Uh, they're moving eastwards up the hill over there and uh, they we kind of disturbed them from their sleep so we're going to leave them now for the evening it's been a good 45 minute one hour search to find them they've kind of been dodging us and we're going to come back at 3 30 in the morning bright and breezy Let's see if we can get them being active then mark from durban who's the threatened species project manager has come to join us morning mark good morning ryan how are you doing you yeah. sleep well no no, <laughs> it's too <Tiny>. late. <laughs> Very, very early. Okay. Cool, let's go. Cool. Okay, we're just heading across to the other side of the reserve. We're going to go and meet up with Axel from Wildlife Act Fund, and they are responsible for the wild dog monitoring on the reserve. It's just vital that we get a good location and movement of the wild dog every day, early morning, every afternoon. Got to keep track of it. So, hopefully, Axel's got there and hopefully we'll get to the wild dog before they wake up and start moving. The monitoring of the wild dog is important not only on Somkanda but across the whole of KwaZulu Natal. Uh, there's quite a large problem with the bushmeat trade uh, which means that people are going out and putting snares up and wild dog are very susceptible to being caught in, in these snares. Sometimes you can find up to three, four dogs caught in snares and, and or affected by a snare line. Axel Prima is going to be our guide. Um, he's been working with uh, Wild Act for a very long time, just monitoring dogs. This is actually the 12th pack of dogs that he's had. The first time that he's actually taken the dogs right from the boma out. So it's very exciting for him. We had a pack of five dogs and unfortunately we lost one three days ago. So we have four at the moment and they fitted with um, collars. So we track them every day, morning and afternoon sessions. We get to the dogs before they start moving and stay with them when they rest. So we spend a good six hours with them in the morning and three hours in the afternoon. We've been able to track them well because there are snares in those areas. The reason why we're out here uh, at some kind of game reserve is because Different.org and Wildlands Conservation Trust have partnered together to fund a monitoring program that will last an entire year. And that'll, that'll monitor both the pack of wild dogs and it'll monitor the rhinos in the reserve. So we're going out to go and see if we can get a sighting of some white rhino. Um, first up we've got Zama heading up the rhino monitoring team on some kind of game reserve. Um, we're on the way to the rhino. Zama's picked them up with his telemetry and he thinks they're just ahead of us here. There should be three rhinos in the thick bush. Um, so we're just carefully walking upwind to see if we can see them in the bush there. It's quite exciting to get quite close. Where are we coming from? We were following up on a signal of like three animals, possibly, uh, which is a white rhinos. So the project with Different.org and Wildlands Conservation Trust uh, is 204,000 Rand. That covers the salaries, it covers uh, the vehicle, vehicle maintenance, even it covers some of the tracking devices for all the animals in this reserve. So that we are able to effectively track them and effectively monitor them well. We know that rhinos get a ton of exposure and people really understand the plight of rhinos. But it's also so important to understand the plight of the wild dogs. The threat to our wildlife is reaching critical levels in South Africa. And organizations such as Wildlands are really calling to every South African out there to try and assist where they can. We arrived at Sumkanda just ready for a really great adventure and just ready to experience what um, this whole reserve had to offer. But what it made me realize personally is the plight that the wild dogs are under that they are under extreme pressure from snaring from lack of uh, loss of habitat and that there's just so much more to do there's so much more that we can do to help the wildlife population in south africa <laughs> 